Hi, hello dear students. I am very happy to see you again through this video lecture. In this regard, I also wish to record my sincere thanks to the modern technology that connects us even though that we are at different places. With this preface, let us go into today's topic. And today, we are going to discuss about one important process called Monsanto process. In continuation of our uh, lectures regarding organometallic catalysts, this Monsanto process also involves one such uh, catalyst. And this Monsanto process is used in the commercial production of acetic acid. And acetic acid is a very important chemical reagent and also an important industrial chemical which is used widely in various industry especially polymer industry and also in inks, paints, varnishes. Uh, also finds application in uh, laboratory as solvents. And in our daily life, in every houses, we use vinegar. And the vinegar also contains about 20% uh, of acetic acid. Uh, so therefore, globally, there are about 6.5 million metric tons of acetic acids are uh, synthesized as far as now. And with this introduction, uh, I will go into the process how acetic acid is produced by Monsanto process. Now, as I told you earlier, the Monsanto process is the synthesis of acetic acid from methanol. And methanol is a starting product of the synthesis of acetic acid. And the process is also called as carbonylation. Carbonylation means the addition or the insertion of carbon monoxide. And you know hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen. Hydroformulation means addition of hydrogen and formulation formula group. And carbonylation means insertion of carbon monoxide. And the methanol, which is the starting material for the acetic acid production, is obtained from syngas. Syngas called as synthetic gas. And you might have studied syngas in your analytical chemistry course in the previous semester. And here is the first equation, carbon, monoxide and hydrogen. And this gaseous mixture is called as syngas. And this syngas reacts with copper and zinc oxide to form methanol. And in our second equation, methanol is added with carbon monoxide in presence of catalyst. Here there are two catalysts, one is rhodium and another one is iodine and methanol is added with carbon monoxide to form acetic acid. Here you see methanol is added with carbon monoxide but this carbon monoxide is inserted between CH3 and OH. Therefore, the insertion of carbon monoxide is termed as carbonylation reaction. So, the Monsanto process is simply the carbonylation of methanol that is insertion of carbon monoxide between methanol and this process is called as Monsanto process or Monsanto acetic acid process because Monsanto it is an it was an American based agrochemical company which existed between 1902 to 2018 and this company had license of the production of acetic acid and recently this company was acquired by a German based company called Bayer and this, this introduction let us go into the mechanism or steps involved in the production of acetic acid look here this is the diagrammatic rep representation of acetic acid synthesis and you see here one outer cycle consists of uh, an, a bigger cycle and for this cycle I have used pink color chart again okay. here is another one cycle for which I have used a green color chart 
and so far in our previous lectures we have catalytic cycle and as in our previous classes we have only one catalytic cycle but here we have two catalytic cycles the first one involves a rhodium based catalyst and the second one involves a hydrogen ion let me explain the first cycle our active catalyst consists of a rhodium based organometallic catalyst it is a diiodo di carbonyl rhodium 1 this is the active catalyst and this catalyst reacts with methyl iodide this is the first step and methyl iodide reacts with our catalyst to form a six coordinated species one methyl group is added with rhodium and iodine splits and added with the rhodium here you see the coordination number of rhodium complex is 4 and here the coordination number is 6 also here you see the oxidation state of rhodium is plus 1 which is changed into to plus 3 and hence this reaction is called as oxide reaction you know oxide reaction means oxidative addition that is increase in the oxidation number plus 1 to plus 3 addition means increase in the coordination number 4 to 6 and this is the first step of our reaction and second step as usual is the migratory insertion reaction and migratory insertion means one group gets migrated and then inserted between another two group and in this reaction our methyl group migrates and inserted between one of the carbonyl group to form an acyl group and in this step our methyl group migrates and inserted between rhodium and carbon monoxide to form our acyl group and here we have a five coordinated species and this step is the second step and now we are coming to the third step the third step is addition of one more carbonyl group that is this carbon monoxide and this carbon monoxide is added in the third group again the coordination number changes to plus six and in the final step that is the fourth step our acyl group this acyl group is eliminated as acetyl iodide one of the iodine and this acyl group left from this rhodium and hence the coordination number of rhodium changed again to 4 from 6 to 4 and here the oxidation state of rhodium so far here is plus 3 and after the elimination of acetyl iodide the coordination number changes to plus 1 Hence, this reaction is termed as reductive elimination, which means elimination of groups, also reduction in the number of oxidation state. So, in the outer cycle, which converts methyl iodide into acetyl iodide, and the role of rhodium is to catalyze, catalyze this cycle. But our actual reaction consists of the conversion of methanol into acetic acid. So how we involve methanol here? For this purpose, we use hydrogen iodide. And here, hydrogen iodide serves as a function of a second catalyst. And methanol reacts with the second catalyst called hydrogen iodide to form our methyl iodide. The methanol cannot directly attach with this rhodium catalyst but rather it undergoes reaction with hydrogen iodide to form methyl iodide and this methyl iodide is undergo reaction with the rhodium catalyst to form the cycle and when hydrogen iodide reacts with methanol it produces methyl iodide also forms water now what is the use of water here yes in the final step that is the fourth step as when the acetyl iodide is eliminated, eliminated from the catalyst, it reacts with water. That means it is hydrolyzed by water. This acyl group get hydrolyzed by water to form our final product acetic acid. So this is our final product acetic acid. 
So when acetyl iodide is hydrolyzed by water, we get our final product that is acetic acid. Also, it regenerates our catalyst hydrogen iodide. So the purpose of this cycle is twofold. One, one, one of the catalysts that is sodium, it converts methyl iodide into acetyl iodide and this catalyst again regenerated. And our second catalyst hydrogen iodide converts methanol into acetic acid and in this second cycle also our HI is regenerated. So this catalytic cycle goes on as far as all the methanol is converted into our product acetic acid. So let me conclude and Monsanto process also called as Monsanto acetic acid process is a method for the production of acetic acid from methanol that means methanol is added with carbon monoxide to form acetic acid here you see methanol is just uh, that is the carbon monoxide is just inserted between methanol and hence it is called as carbonization reaction and this mechanism consists of two catalytic, catalytic cycles number one a rhodium based catalytic cycle and number two hydrogen iodide based catalytic cycle in both the cycles we regenerate our catalysts and our reactant that is methanol gets converted into product and i hope your students understood the concept well and i'll see you again in the next video lecture thank you